We were a small class. I think we were probably one of the last small classes to graduate from Akiba. I think we were 19 students. So my memory, of course, is that we were very close as a class. And um, we did a lot of things together at Akiba. We would put on shows together. We would edit newspapers together. My name is Hillel Goldman. I live right now in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, where I'm a professor in educational psychology at the University of British Columbia. For someone who loves Torah, or the Jewish path, you can never get enough of it. And I think that Akiba is a place where you're always hungry and thirsty to get a little bit more. The lessons of Akiba should extend for a lifetime, really. And in my case, they do. My name is Rachel Rubin Wolf. I graduated in 1969. You're always teaching values whether you think you are or not. It's better to teach them intentionally rather than unintentionally. I think that was probably the most valuable thing that I got and a lot of my classmates got. I'm David Chinitz, Professor of Health Policy and Management at the School of Public Health, Hadassah Hospital in Jerusalem. I ended up as a successful academic, uh, even surprising myself. But throughout it all, the good and the bad, it was clear to me that my way of thinking about things other than my parents, and perhaps even more than my parents, was influenced by Akiba. I was different, and yet I had a place. I'm Adina Baron, and I'm living in Tel Aviv. And uh, I am actually a pioneer in my country, and actually one of the most uh, senior performance artists in the world, pursuing ideals perhaps in an unconventional way. I think I really, I really find even today, after so many years, giving Akiba a lot of credit for this.